Hey friends, what's up? This is Kat and welcome back to my channel. Alright, so this is going to be very, very exciting. For today's video, this is going to be like my anniversary special because by the time that you are watching this, it is my second anniversary on Booktube. I posted my first ever Booktube video back in March 12 of 2020 and right now it's March 12 of 2022 and I just couldn't believe how time flies so, so, so fast. Like, oh my goodness. Anyway, so back when I was starting Booktube, the second video that I posted was actually my top 5 favorite books of all time. I don't know how I feel about that video, but I know in myself that 2020 Cat is very different to who I am in the present. But I am still so grateful for the reader that I was in 2020 because if not for her, then I won't be who I am today. And that is such like a cliche but it is just so true. So anyway, for today's video, I will give you my updated version of my top favorite books of all time. And I tried to narrow it down to five books, but it's just impossible. Like, it is impossible, all right? But before you go to this video, let's have a snippet of what are my top five favorite books in 2020. Roll VTR. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Kat and welcome to the bookish side of me. So, for today's video, we are going to finally talk about books. Right now, we are going to talk about my top 5 favorite books of all time. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you first my number 5 or the 5th book of my favorites, the least favorite in this list, and then we're going our way to the top until we reach the number one level. Oh my god, they are so noisy. So number five on my top favorite books of all time is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. So number four on my top favorite books of all time, this is a series. This is the only series here on my list. So that series is Harry Potter. So we're down to the third book on this list. This one, I just read it recently. And actually guys, to be honest, I didn't really expect to love this book as much as I do right now. I love this so much. So that book is Jellicoe Road by Melina Marchata. So number two on my list is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. All right, so we are down to the last book on this list, which means we are down to the top book of all time. My top favorite book of all time. So every time I read this book, I am literally shocked because I could always relate to it and it's like my thoughts and my emotions were printed in a book and this is it. This is the book. So I'm talking about the book Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert. So that's it guys, we're done with the top five books that I really, really love and I adore with all of my heart. These are the books that really just, you know, influenced me in so many ways. And these are the books that also like brought me to my different perspectives in life. And I think these books will remain as my top favorite books of all time. However, guys, I'm really looking forward to do this video again in, in two years or three years time because I really would love to see if my top five changes every now and then. So for now, in 2020, these are my top favorite books and I love each and every one of them so much. Alright, so yeah, that's it. As you have seen, I have listed there Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert, The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak, Jellico Road by Melina Marchetta, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, and Harry Potter, book number one by J.K. Rowling. So today, we are going to see if I have stick up to my top five favorite books or what are the changes, what happened in the past two years. So if you are interested to know about that, just keep on watching. So first off, I'd like to say that I have here two books that I will not put on this list for this year. The reason for this is because among all my favorite books back in 2020, 
these two books are the ones that I haven't read again in such a long time. I think the last time that I read these two are way back in 2015 or 2016. Like, it's been such a long time and I thought I have to park these books. I am not saying that these are not my favorite books anymore, but what I'm trying to say is that these are on the pending side. Like, I have to read these books this year. Like, I am very, very determined that I am going to read these books this year. So the first one that I have is... The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. I have placed this in 2020 as my second favorite book of all time. And even though I feel like I still feel the same about this book, I still need to read it again. I still need to check it out. I have definitely promised that to myself. I need to read this book. And then the second book that I am going to park as well is my top favorite book of all time in 2020. And this is Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert. Oh my god. This is my favorite book of all time for such a long time. But then I last read it back in 2016 or 2017. I honestly cannot remember. So I need to read this book again even though I know that I will still love it and even though I think that it will still hold up as one of my favorite books. I am not sure if this is going to be still at the top of my favorite books of all time. So I have doubts right now and i'm going to read this again very very soon i promise so this is the second book so these are the two books that will not be on this list so as you can see these two books are already out of the list and we only have three remaining books from 2020 so let's move on to my top favorite books of all time okay Again, I tried to narrow these books down into five, but it's just so fucking hard. But then when I saw the six books, I already knew that I will not be able to kick one book from this list. So what I'm going to do right here is just share with you this top six. Like, I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice, okay? So just like the previous video that I've showed you, we're going from the very least, which is my top six, and then we're going our way up to top one, which is my top favorite book of all time. As of today, March 12, 2022. All right, let's start with number six. Okay, so this book, this is the one that should be like kicked out of the list, but then I just couldn't. Like my heart for this book will, oh my God, it will not change anytime soon. I am just so sure about that. This book is like a game changer for me in 2020. And <laughs> this is my favorite book of 2020 and you guys don't understand how much I love this book. This is The Puppy War by <laughs> R.F. Kong. This book, the series, the characters, it's everything to me. Alright, so if you don't know yet what this book is all about, this is the first book in the Poppy War trilogy by R.F. Kuang, and this follows the story of Rin. She is a war orphan, and she decided to take an exam into a prestigious school in Sinegard for her to be part of the military in preparation for the upcoming war. Because this book is loosely based on the Second Sino-Japanese War that happened in China. So this is fantasy and obviously the world building and the setting is fictional but there are a lot of parallels in here that also happened in real life. So this is obviously a very complex yet heavy fantasy book and I didn't expect that I will love it this much. So this is definitely one of my favorite, favorite, favorite series of all time. I also super duper love The Dragon Republic back in 2021 and I think it's one of the best sequels I've ever read in my entire life. But this first book was just really a game changer for me. Like I had so, so much thoughts about this book. Like I had to sit down, think through the characters, the setting. There are a lot of social political commentaries, issues that could affect not just people in their country but also outside. I haven't read the third book yet and I'm planning to do so this year and I'm super duper excited. But no matter what happens in the third book, whether I like it or not, this book will still remain as one of my favorite books of all time. I just really think that this changed my perspective so much, like 180 degrees. I've realized a lot of things. So I just found a new love for fantasy because of this book so i just really love that this is number six okay number five on my list this one was included in my 2020 favorite books of all time my feelings for this my emotions toward this book it never changed it's still the same it still made me cry it still made me mushy and soft 
and I am just really very biased obviously to these characters and I consider them as some of my most favorite characters in fiction of all time and this book is the Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I have never changed my perception, my perspective, my feelings, my thoughts about this book. This is still my favorite YA romance of all time. I just could that this book is everything to me. You don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand. So basically, this book, if you don't know what this is about, just in case, um, this is about Hazel Grace and Augustus Waters. They are two teenagers who are suffering or who are struggling with cancer and then they are going to meet one day in this like support group and from then forward it will blossom into something more beautiful and a lot of things are going to happen in the story like i know this very cliche and probably cheesy for someone who is already an adult but when i first read this book i was like 18 or 19 years old so it was just really perfect for me that time and then i reread it in 2020 and i still felt the same like i still cried even though i already know what's going to happen like i've watched the movie a million times i've read this book for probably five times or four times already but this book is just so so special to me this book love to the bones like super duper all right number four on my list so this one i've read it in 2018 and i consider this as one of my favorite books of all time but it didn't make it to the top five in 2020 so what i did was i reread this book last year and i want to check if this will still hold up as one of my favorite books of all time and also there was a new book that was released last year in the same universe of this book so the book that i was talking about is the seven husbands of Evelyn hugo by taylor jenkins reed this book was everything to me i will say that a million times on this video but this book is just so so good like i i just couldn't explain it any further and because i reread it last year my my placement for this book just bumped on my top four for my favorite books of all time because this book was just so so good like taylor jenkins reed she really writes books so so good like fictional stories that will make you think that this is actually happening in real life she has that kind of power of hooking you or gripping you or immersing you in the story that it almost felt like you are living with the characters and it's just such a good experience so this one if you don't know yet this is a historical fiction it follows the story of evelyn hugo and the story will start with her trying to find this journalist named monique grant and she is going to ask her to write her biography later on and from there onwards we're going to see discover what happened to the life of Evelyn Hugo, a very famous Hollywood actress, and who are the seven husbands and how did she came up with seven husbands. So this is such a good book. And also this book has a lot of commentaries, social and political. It talked about colorism, racism. It talked about queerness during this time because as I've said, this is like a historical fiction. So yeah, this book is just so amazing. I just love Evelyn Hugo. I love the characters in this book. I cried when I reread it in 2021 and I still love this world so, so much. Whatever Taylor Jenkins Reid produced in the future in the same world, I will automatically buy that book. I am 100% sure. And as far as I know, she's releasing another book this year or next year in the same world that is somehow connected to Malibu Rising. So I'm super duper excited. I'm going to buy that. You already know. All right, number three, we are down to the three books that I consider as my top three favorite books of all time. And oh my gosh, this book is my favorite read of 2021. This book is All Along Your Blooming by Morgan Harper Nichols. This book was every fucking thing. Like, oh my God. This one came into my life in the right time. When I plan to read this, I like I don't have any expectations, although I really, really love Morgan Harper and Nichols. But I don't have like I don't know what the book is going to be about. I just knew that I would love the way that she writes because I've been loving her poetry and her essays in such a long time. But I, I don't have any ideas. And this book just 
hugged me, it warmed my heart, it comforted me in ways that I could never ever explain. I just think that the way that her words were structured in this book was just, it was phenomenal. It was so good. Like, it was comforting, but at the same time, it totally makes sense. And I had a lot of like, oh yeah, I didn't realize that. Like, I felt validated and seen by this book and it was just a good experience. So anyway, I forgot to say what this book is about. This is a collection of poetry and some essays. It is definitely very personal and the way that Morgan Harper Nichols writes this book is just like how she writes her poetry or her essays online so if you follow her on Instagram or Twitter or somewhere else you can definitely like imagine how she constructs or how she writes her words so I just love this book so so much chef's kiss all right number two number two we are on our top two. Oh my god. So, number two on this list was already on the 2020 list. I don't think anyone would ever ever be surprised if I tell you that this is one of my favorite books of all time because it definitely was, it is, and always will be one of my favorite books of all time. And I reread this book at least three times in the past two years. So it definitely bumped up from number three in 2020 to number two in 2022. And this book is <laughs> Jellico Road by Melina Marchetta. This book, okay, I have talked so much about this book in the past two years. Probably people are so sick of me talking about this book, but I just love this book so, so much. And as you can see, when I rebranded my channel, the first thing that I wanted to do was to create a username or a channel name that is comforting, but at the same time, it encapsulates who I am as a content creator. And one of the first few things that came to my mind was this book. Like, I just couldn't believe that this book will be as important it is to me right now. Like, I just love this book so, so much. And this book, this characters, the setting, the world building in this one, everything about this book was just so, so good. And I just really think that it is definitely one of my favorite books of all time that I will bring to the ends of the world. So anyway, if this is new to you, you don't know what this book is all about, this is a YA contemporary. It has a little bit of romance and we are romance it has a little bit of mystery and we are following the 16 year old taylor marcom she lives in jellico high she studies there and there is an underground community where she leads their school against the townies and the cadets in this territorial war but more than that there's also another timeline that we are going to follow there are five friends who also lived and studied in jellico high and yeah so there's a lot of mystery in this book there's going to be a lot of like unanswered questions that later on will make sense in the last quarter of the book and this one just oh my god this just took me in so so many adventures and experiences and emotions and feelings and thoughts that I will never ever forget Melina Marchata is definitely one of my favorite authors of all time like oh my god this woman she writes so fucking good I don't know what else to tell you I just love it okay I just love it all right guys okay we are down to the number one or the top one which i consider as my top favorite book of all time right now so this book i read it in 2012 or 2013 i couldn't remember but i read it during the time that it was so hyped up in 2020 i also consider this book or the series as one of my favorite series or favorite books of all time but i didn't include it on that list because as i've said i had to narrow it down to five books only but this book is definitely part of top 10 like back in 2020 hands down one of my favorite series of all time and then i reread it in 2020 as well i reread the whole series because the fourth book came or technically it's like a prequel to this book but this trilogy or the series i mean it's just phenomenal. It was timeless. It just made me feel the same feelings that I had when I read it so many years ago. Like, I just couldn't get my head around the fact that this book stood time. It holds up as one of my favorite books. This one has definitely no contender 
I immediately thought that this is going to be on top of my stack of favorite books. And I just realized that when I read it in 2020. And this book is The Hunger Games by Susan Collins. Oh my god. So as I've said, I read this so many years ago. I was still in college when I first read the trilogy and I loved it so much. It's definitely one of my favorite series of all time. And then I reread it. I reread the whole trilogy in 2020 because The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes came out in 2020. And oh my god, I fell in love again with the whole story. I fell in love again with the setting, with the world building, with Katniss Everdeen, with the whole characters. <sighs> It was such a good experience. I fucking love this series. Like, I really, truly believe that this is definitely one of my favorite books of all time. And right now, it's on top. Like, it is on top. Anyway, if you don't know yet, you haven't read this book, you have no idea what this is about. This is a dystopian. This is like a futuristic science fiction we are following here. Katniss Everdeen. Oh my god, one of my favorite characters of all fucking time. And she is going to compete to this game called The Hunger Games. We're in, it's like a survival game. And of course, later on, we are going to find out who will survive among the 12 contestants. So uh, this book, I want to read it again this year. This is my top favorite book right now. I <laughs> No contest in here. No brainer. I, I don't know what else to say about The Hunger Games. It's everything to me. The movie adaptation was fucking everything. Oh my god. Like, oh my gosh. Like the whole movie adaptation the whole installment was just on point in my opinion and this is why susan collins is one of my favorite authors of all time like she created this whole world that is phenomenal it was legendary it was iconic one of my favorite books of all time one of my favorite series of all time no cap so anyway these are my top favorite books of all time as of this year or as of march 2022 i want to do this again if not next year probably after two years so i could do like a check in every two years what are my favorite or top favorite books of all time because i think this is really really fun anyway um that's it for this video i hope that you enjoyed this one and i would like to thank everyone for all always supporting me and always um, being there for me all throughout even though I went into hiatus for such a long time or even though I was not consistent or sometimes I am unstable myself I am just so grateful for all of you guys since day one thank you so so much and I hope to be with you in the next few years hopefully I could still do booktube in the next two to three years five years even more or probably until i grow old i don't know <laughs> but yeah that's it for this video again thank you so much and i hope that you are always safe and healthy and happy wherever you are because you deserve it and just remember the world is yours for the reading bye and see you on the next one